Hey guys, really quick before we start, I'm gonna be doing a written version of this up on my website, link in the description down below. First thing I wanna get out of the way is just some commonly asked questions. One, your data will probably be erased. Actually, your data will be erased when you unlock your bootloader. So back your stuff up if that's a big deal to you. Two, this process takes up to two weeks. There's a two week waiting period after you apply for the bootloader unlock to when the bootloader unlock is done. The next one is L1 certification. Now using custom ROMs most of the time is going to mean that you are going to lose your L1 certification if your device comes with L1 out of the box. Now, there are some ways and some ROMs that possibly support getting this back. I don't have experience with that. I can't ask, I can't answer questions regarding to that. The next one is stock camera and stock camera performance. Now, you are going to lose the stock camera in all of the modes that Xiaomi has baked into their stock camera. You can get some of those modes back with the ANX camera mod. I'll be doing a follow-up video on that, so subscribe for that video. Next one is a G-Cam review. I do have a stable or a semi-stable version of G-Cam. I've been working with a developer to get G-Cam fully ported to the Redmi Note 10 Pro. I did an interview with him. Subscribe for that because that's probably gonna be a video that comes out in the next day or two. Next one is a ROM RAM comparison test. I've had some questions about whether or not I... Okay guys, first step that you're gonna have to do is go ahead and enable developer options on your device. You can get to that by first hitting the MIUI version a number of times until you've unlocked developer options. Now to get the developer options, you are going to go to additional settings and scroll down to find the de developer options. Make sure that you have developer options enabled as soon as you enter it. Sometimes it can be weird and not always be enabled, but in this case, it's enabled. Go down to OEM unlocking. Now you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click that on. If your device is not unlocked like mine is, you will be asked to enter your Xiaomi MIUI account info and that kind of registers the device as being part of or taking place in the unlocking process. Now go ahead and create a new file on the desktop of your computer. I called mine Android development and you're going to need to download the Xiaomi MIUI unlock tool from the website and I will have that linked in the description down below. Now guys we are not actually unlocking the bootloader at this point if you have not started this process already as it is a two week process. We're just applying for the permission to do so. You're going to go ahead, unzip the Mi Unlocker tool into your Android development folder. Go ahead, launch the application. And after you launch it, if you have not used it already like I have, you will be prompted to sign in with your Xiaomi MIUI account info. Once you're logged on with the application and the service, go ahead and put your device into fast boot mode by hitting the power down as well as the volume down key. And it should uh, show up in the application. After the application is refreshed, click on the unlock button. Two weeks later. Now that your two week waiting period is over, we can go ahead into unlocking our bootloader and let's jump to that right now. Now that you've returned two weeks later after your waiting process is necessary, you're gonna go back in, open up the Me Unlocker tool, log in with all your account information. Once you've logged in, put your device into fast boot mode by holding down the power down and volume down key, reconnect it, hit refresh, and then once your device comes up, hit unlock. Hey guys, really quick. So this next step is not 100% necessary, but I had problems with commands in PowerShell. This fixed it. I took these instructions from someone else's YouTube video that they did, and I'll have a link to their original video in the description down below. But this is how you fix all of the problems, and this is how you can ensure that you have a flawless PowerShell experience. Shout out to the Indian YouTuber that put this original tutorial together. I am copying the steps and link to his channel in the description. Now download this file that's hosted on Mediafire. It is going to be labeled Android TF. I downloaded it into my Android development folder on my desktop to keep things simple and tidy. And you are gonna go ahead and copy that Android folder. Go into program files, x86. And if you have an Android folder there already, delete it and then copy that new folder that you downloaded with the title of Android into the program x86 files. Once you have it copied, you're going to need to go. 
Once you have it copied, go to Control Panel, go to System Settings, or System. Go into Advanced System Settings, go on to Advanced, go into Environmental Variables, go to Paths, click Edit. Once in Edit, you're going to click New, and at this point, you want to paste that file directory from the program files x86 slash Android that you just pasted. Copy that file path into the paths portion of the environmental variables. Click OK. Okay guys, so this next step is you're gonna to need to go to XDA Developers and download the specific Lineage OS Recovery as well as the Lineage OS ROM. And I'll have links to both of these in the description down below. Now, when it comes to picking your version of Lineage OS, you can choose to have a version with the Google Apps pre-installed or a vanilla version. I don't have a problem with Google and thus I picked to get the version of Lineage OS that came with the full set of Google applications already installed as I didn't wanna deal with finding other alternatives later down the line. So you're gonna download both of these files into your Android developer folder. Next step is you're going to, go to go back onto your phone into developer settings, enable USB debugging, and then plug your device into the computer. Once that's done, you're going to hold the shift key on your computer, right click and open up a Windows PowerShell command in the folder that's labeled Android development. You're going to type in ADB reboot fastboot click enter and at this point your phone's going to reboot in fastboot mode. Next you're going to go ahead and type in fastboot flash recovery recovery.image and that is the name of the recovery for the Lineage OS recovery. Once that's been flashed you will have a new recovery installed on your device. Congrats guys, you just installed the custom Lineage OS recovery. You need to go ahead and install the Lineage OS ROM. Now I wanna take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. If you guys wanna learn how you can save 83% on Surfshark VPN, wait till the end of this video. If you guys wanna connect with me, go ahead and hit me up on my Discord server. It's one of the best places to do that. And let's jump back into this tutorial. Okay guys, we're gonna go back to our phone, hold down the power and volume up key to launch into this custom Lineage OS recovery. From there, you're gonna to wanna to go to navigate to apply update, open apply update, apply from ADB, and make sure that this is connected to your comp computer. You're gonna click on that. And next, you're going to have some specific instructions on how to go ahead and do this. You see here on the phone, it says now send the package with ADB flash and then the name of it. Now, I renamed the name of this custom ROM into just lineage. Uh, because it's easier for me to type in. Go back to your PowerShell command, type in ADB sideload, and then whatever the name of that fileage, in my case, lineage.zip, hit enter, and that's gonna go ahead and begin to send your brand new ROM to the device. Now, obviously I can't show you this fully finished because my device already is flash, but this process should take anywhere from two to four minutes it will complete to 100%, and then you are going to then reboot the device into your brand new 
Lineage OS phone. Congrats, you've just finished sideloading the Lineage OS ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro or Redmi Note 10 Pro Max through the ADB sideload process. Now, if you guys like these videos, if you guys want a video about how to install TWRP recovery to use with Xiaomi EU, Aero OS, or any of the other ROMs, make sure that you're subscribed for those videos. Now, if you guys want other ways to support me, you guys can use my affiliate links, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or use the sponsor for today's video, Surfshark VPN. Now, as you guys know, I live in Vietnam where the internet is not a free place. You guys also know that I often trade cryptocurrency and use Brave Browser, which if you're using Brave Browser, you can contribute to me and that helps me buy new phones to make new tutorials for you guys. Now, oftentimes I'm trading some of that crypto on public Wi-Fi, and for that, security is a big concern. And that's where something like Surfshark VPN comes in. Now, I don't use Surfshark VPN 100% of the time when I'm on the internet. That would be kind of silly. But there are many times that I need to use Surfshark VPN or if I'm torrenting stuff, or even if I wanna have access to Netflix or other video streaming services outside of Vietnam, I can use Surfshark VPN. It's a little bit more than $2 a month. And the whole reason that I even discovered Surfshark VPN in the first place is that I was looking for the cheapest, best value VPN to use Personally, I saw they had an affiliate program and thus I'm now working with them and helping to bring more tutorials for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time, peace.